Welcome back to my channel. As you can see, I have a fabulous guest with me in today's video. It is the beautiful Madeline Shaw, and Madeline has invited me into her gorgeous home. And we are going to be making what are we going to be making? We're going to be making well, two things actually. We're going to do a chocolate date bar, which is like perfect 4 pm energy snack, and then homemade hummus because I feel like everyone buys hummus, but it is yes. the most simple thing to make. When you read the ingredients, you're like, I could do that. <laughs> Nobody ever does. So, you guys know I've been trying to be a lot uh, more healthy recently, and that is actually thanks to you. Madeline and I met originally at a Soho farmhouse a few weeks ago, and all well, months ago. Time flies. Time flies. And uh, I've been using quite a lot of her recipes to make healthy things at home, so thank you for inspiring me to be healthy. Aww. And we've also filmed a video on Madeline's channel, which is going to be all about like autumn beauty favourites because I know you're really into beauty I love skincare as well so I thought um, you could sort of see some of my favourites so yeah head over to my channel to see that video yes and subscribe to Madeline if you haven't already so we're going to start by making the healthy chocolate bars I can't actually get it in my head that chocolate bars could ever be healthy are you going to change this definitely story? like I'm all about like not about like deprivation with food, I think it's all about, and we all crave something sweet. For sure. This is a really good alternative to like grabbing a chocolate bar. They're so easy to make, but it's just chucking everything in the food processor. Yeah. Um, so I'll come behind you. Yes. Take the lead. Uh, so we've got some medjool dates, which are like the soft kind of squidgy dates. You could just use normal dates, mm -hmm. but what I love about these is they blend really well. Um, so we'll pop them into the food processor. Are these the same kind of dates that you wrap your bacon at Christmas? Because that's like my favourite thing in the world. I feel like they are. They are kind of Christmassy yeah. these dates, don't they? Definitely. They look. So they're good festive ones. Mm -hmm. um, we've got some pecans. Are pecans and walnuts the same thing? Because they look the same. <laughs> no, they're... This is how basic my healthy cooking knowledge is by the way. No, I mean they do look really similar, but no, they are slightly different. Um, I feel like pecans are a bit more of a richer taste. Okay. Um, I prefer pecans over walnuts, but that's not that I don't like walnuts. Mm -hmm. But those are my favourite. Okay. Um, and then I put in some almonds as well in there. Um, we've got some raw cacao powder. Mm -hmm. yeah. This is like basically like cocoa powder, but it hasn't been heated. It's like really rich in like magnesium, which is good for like your muscles, packed full of antioxidants, and that's what's going to give it like the chocolatey taste. Yeah. So we'll pop that in. About three teaspoons. Lots of chocolate powder. <laughs> and am I right in thinking that almonds, are they good for energy or is it um, like making you not feel hungry all the time? Yeah, like they've got like a really good source of healthy fats and also vitamin E, which is like okay. the skin glowing like vitamin. So it helps like produce um, like that glow on your skin. So you want to eat almonds every day. So not only are these chocolate bars, but they're like beauty <laughs> bars. Yeah, exactly. We can call them beauty bars. Beauty bars. I like them. We're also going to put in some coconut oil in here, and that's going to help sort of bind it all together and make it solidify. Nice. So we just literally blend all of this together. This is so easy. I think that's it. So we blended it for like a minute, let's yeah. say. And it depends on how you like your texture. I like there to be a little bit of crunch in it. Mm, me too. So I've kept it with this texture where you can see there's little bits mm -hmm. of crunch in there. So do you just blend it on a slower speed to get that? No, 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 that's no. just, I mean, I only have one speed. How many okay. speeds do you have? Oh, I don't know, it's <laughs> a thing. I don't even know how to use it. Uh, I, I'm a one speed girl. Um, <laughs> it's just, um, about a minute but if you kept going you could almost get like a fudgy texture mm. which is really nice so it depends how you want to go if you want crunch if you want fudge blend it a little bit longer okay um so we're just going to pour this into i've just got like a tray that i've lined with baking paper here's one we made earlier <laughs> we haven't actually made this earlier this feels like blue peter doesn't it <laughs> got the tray i always wanted to be on blue peter were you never one of the little children? No. Got the little badges? Were you? No. Oh. <laughs> it would be like the biggest claim to fame, wouldn't it? I was on play days though. Working under the bus. Nice. Yeah. That was my childhood claim to fame. This looks so tasty. So then 
basically, if you want to do this bit, just like squidge it down with your fingers. Ooh. So just push oh, that's it down. Yeah, quite fun. And try and get it in all the corners. So really push it down so there's like no air in there. And then we basically just chuck it into the freezer um, for about a half an hour to an hour. It's gonna harden up and then we can slice it into bars. Nice. And then I just asked Madeline if we could put some goji berries on top because these are my favorite thing in the world. Aren't they amazing? Yeah, and they're so pretty. And what's, are they, what are they like superfood? Are they really healthy? Yeah, yeah. goji berries are superfoods, like antioxidant rich. They've got lots of good like fiber in them. So yeah. They're a good thing to just add on top. This really is a beauty bar. <laughs> Full of antioxidants. Um, okay, so should we just like squelch them on top? Yeah, I do like a good handful and then just push it in. Push them in. What else could you put on this kind of bar? Um, you could put some like toasted coconut flakes. Oh, you could put flaked almonds, whatever nice. you like. I think sometimes it's nice to have um, like a different texture. Yeah, that's true. Like these will add a little bit of I don't want to say crunchy because they're not crunchy, are they? Yeah. Chewiness? Yeah. Yeah. I love the texture. <laughs> okay, beautiful. Well, I'll pop this into the freezer and then she makes some hummus. Let's do it. So now that we have got our beauty bars, that's why I'm going to call them beauty bars, <laughs> in the, did you say freezer? Because I normally just leave them in the fridge. So I'm doing it in the freezer so that it's a little bit quicker. Okay. So I'm just, I'm an impatient person. Me too. That's genius. While they're in the freezer, <laughs> we're going to make homemade hummus, which um, I let Madeline take over for because I don't know how to do it. <laughs> so I've just got a can of chickpeas that I've drained off, really simple. So the chickpeas are actually already cooked. So if you've got the dried chickpeas, you couldn't do it with that. You've got to use the cooked ones. Okay. Because you know sometimes you can buy them dry. Yeah, I was going to say mine are like little stiff balls. Yeah, yeah, yeah. Don't, tr don't try don't that. Okay. <laughs> that would be like hummus paste, wouldn't it? Exactly. So we've got chickpeas and then we've got tahini, which is like um, mm -hmm. ground sesame seeds. Oh, sesame seeds. So it's about three tablespoons of the tahini going in there. And is this just for taste or does it have any health benefits? Yeah, well, uh, sashimi. I was calling it sashimi. <laughs> That's not the word. <laughs> That's a blend. It's called tahini. <laughs> sashimi. I like sashimi yeah. though. I'm like... agree. Oh, no. It's good. I'm <laughs> it was really <laughs> messy. <laughs> Oh no! I can't even see it. It's, I'm gonna find it like later in the day. Yeah. <laughs> or Woody will find it. Yeah, it must be licking me on the boot. If you can hear any background noise, by the way, we do have a little puffy hurtling around. He'll probably make an appearance a little bit later. <laughs> okay, so um, going back to the tahini. Yeah, it does. It's got a good source of calcium. So if you're okay. someone that doesn't eat dairy, um, definitely get a bit of tahini in your diet because okay. often people can lack calcium. Yeah. So that's a good one. So we just basically blend these together. Let me get that on. <laughs> okay, so once you blend it into a sort of paste, I mean, there could be a few chunks left in there at the moment. Um, do you want to squeeze the lemon into that? So it looks like it's seedless, but... Mm. Oh, yeah, let's squeeze that in. Very juicy. So we've got the juice. This is a small lemon. I'd only go for like half a lemon if it's a big lemon. Okay. Um, because you don't want it to be too. You can't really taste lemon in um, hummus, can you really? Yeah, no, not at all. Not too much. And then also we're going to put in a little bit of smoked paprika, mm -hmm. just for a bit of kick. Probably about half a teaspoon going in there. Yeah. And then some sea salt. So this is like pink Himalayan salt. I feel like this is all the rage at the moment, pink lemon, Himalayan salt, isn't it? Yeah, yeah, I think, well, everyone sort of thought salt was bad for you, but actually mm. it's just all about the quality. So yeah. like sea salt, pink Himalayan salt, anything that looks a little bit dirty is actually really, is good for Get dirty you. salt. <laughs> Eat <Love> dirty <laughs> salt. And do you put salt in your water in the mornings? Um, uh, do you know what? I used to, but I've kind of got out of the habit of it. But yeah. it is meant to help absorb the, the water digestive system, right? Yeah, yeah, it helps the water absorb it. Mm. Okay, let's blend it again. <laughs> so here it is. Like it's it's gone a bit pink because of the smoke paprika, but it's nice to have a bit of kick. But that's the sort of texture that you want, like sort of thick, creamy. And we'll just pop it into a bowl. Mm, that looks amazing. And such quantity as well, considering like chickpeas are quite cheap, aren't they? Oh my god. So, so yeah, this would cost you like nothing compared to what hummus costs. Yeah. You know, 
maybe like a quid fifty to make this. That's amazing. And like the marks and spencer on this is what, £2.50 for a third of this amount? Yeah, absolutely. So good. And it'll probably last like maybe like five days in the fridge. Mm -hmm. So and you can just pop it day. with everything. <laughs> <laughs> Swirl at the top. The life of a food blogger. Forever making food look pretty. Do you like when I when I tweet when I've made one of your recipes? I try and copy your photo <laughs> start. So, oh, Madeline puts pumpkin seeds on her soup. I'm going to put pumpkin seeds on my soup. They're quite the same. Uh, I mean, Chat. with the book, there's like a full on food stylist. So. Oh, is that? Yeah, yeah. Oh, yeah. A sneak peek. Yeah, it's like. It's a job. Isn't that the most amazing job, That's being insane. a food stylist? Oh my gosh. Okay, should we get some crudités and then chop up the bars? Let's get some crudités. <laughs> what are crudités? I'm serious. Like cucumber. Do you now know what crudites are? Yep. So I've just chopped the bars into like little bites. Giant bite size. <laughs> Hey, wow. I've got quite a big mouth. I've got a big jaw. Oh so um, and then yeah, we've got some little red peppers and courgettes. And then so I just sprinkled some smoked paprika on. But like these are just really easy things that you could make as a snack. Yeah. Like I'm always looking for like good snack ideas. And I think like these are just something like these will last for like two weeks in the fridge. Really? Yeah, they last such a long wow. time. So you could make them en masse. Exactly, and then you could just take them into work as a snack. That's a really good idea for work actually because so many of my friends, they sit at their desk and they just have like donuts, they have unhealthy stuff lying around. Yeah. But if you have something that tastes amazing and it's healthy, yeah. everyone's going to be jealous. Yeah. <laughs> Make them yourself at home. So I guess the only thing left to do is what? try them. Let's okay. give it a go. My stomach is rumbling, can you hear it? I love how you go for like the <laughs> ultimate healthy one and I'm just like, chop it up. Yeah, I don't want to be rude. <laughs> mm. Oh my gosh. I love that we didn't blend it too much. You like the crunch? Yeah. So good. Mm. And you could like add in some more crunchy bits in there if you wanted to. That's like delicious. Toasted oats. Like if you've got mm. some granola around the house, chuck it in. Mm. So check down below if you want to make these yourself at home. And of course, check out Madeline's books and her website. It's basically my Bible now for healthy eating. <laughs> so thank you, Madeline, for showing me these gorgeous recipes. You'll be seeing them on my Snapchat quite a lot, as you can imagine. And don't forget to head over to Madeline's channel where we're going to be doing our autumn beauty favourites. And thank you guys so much for watching. Thank Thanks for having you. me. Bye. See you soon. Bye.